All right, guys, let's watch a clip from this movie and come back and talk about it. I'll make it brief so that you go back to what you were doing, all right? It's fine, because I have a meeting after this one. I want to make you my wife. Yes. Excuse me. It, you know, I have, I have to... Sorry. I have to say that here. Yeah. I have taken my time to study you, and I've come to a conclusion that you will make a perfect wife for me. How well do you know this Ugo Chinyere? Ugo Chinyere is a, is a hard-working guy who has made money to keep himself comfortably in this country. He is a loving fellow who has great plans for the future. All you've just said now is directly opposite of how I see him. How do you mean that? I see him a gold digger who has come to exploit not only your sister, but the entire family in the name of marriage. Far from me, Dad. Ugo Chinye Reze that I know loves Ukwe. I want you to know that I am not comfortable with that young man. I am not. One day, you will understand that he came with a good intention. Have you removed that nonsense in your room? I told you I'm not aborting my child. I guess you thought I was joking when I said that, right? Maybe. Are you out of your mind? I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to sound disrespectful. Did you, ah! did you think she didn't want to remove it in the normal way? Go! I will hit you for this, baby! Ah! What's, what's, what's going on here? We're actually playing. Uh, it's, it's all true. Okay. Calm down, okay? We, we can't talk this over, okay? Let's go to a corner there and talk man to man. You better start talking because. You are next to prison. I told him that I am pregnant. He became a beast. He asked me to remove my baby. What? Because I've heard him complain several times how dad is a stingy man and has refused to, to, to help him define his life. If this is true, you have failed yourself. Because I was actually here to present a check of 300 million naira given to you by my father. I give him. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> so this one, this one, this, this one, <laughs> it different. Uh, so a guy actually like, really, really came for the money. You know, he didn't really love the girl. I was at the beginning. I was like, oh, you know, that's so sweet. You know, uh, you know, you know, disabled people deserve to be loved, and that that was how I was looking at this. And you know, I was so, you know, glad that they brother-in-law was definitely supporting him but little did i know <laughs> little little did i know so um guys you know i know everybody is looking for a destiny helper ladies are looking for it guys are looking for it it's definitely harder for guys but the truth is even the ladies don't have it easy either you know either comes with something or comes with another thing but you know here it's interesting that somebody would actually start a whole relationship with such an ugly intention. You go all the way as to marry the person who is still with this ugly intention. I'm glad that Kama caught up with him, you know, that he didn't get that money because I, I don't even think even if he did that he would have started treating her better, you know, all right. He would have probably still either run away with the money, made moves or left the relationship or abandoned her months and months on end. You know, I, I don't know what he would have done, but you guys might have to watch the movie to see what he did. Uh, what would have been, maybe it would, you can see it with the movie, but I'm just speculating here. Destiny helpers, they are real. And the truth is that although they are there, most of the time they are watching. You know, they wouldn't pop up and come to you. There has been quite a few times that I've seen some people online on Facebook and I'll just be watching them from a distance. In that whatever trade that they're doing, it might be selling something or it might be doing something, you know, some sort of art, craft, you know. And, you know, I'll just be watching them, admiring the zeal at which they conduct their business. You know, appreciating the fact that they are choosing their honest route, you know, as hard as it may be. You know, and after a while, you continue seeing good things coming from them. 
most of the time you feel that urge maybe they're hawking and you decide to buy them a stall so there's all these things that destiny helpers could do but they don't just come and rush to you they see you they notice you they sit back and they watch they watch if this is pretense or if it's real as you can see the guy couldn't even stand the test of the time when the dad was trying to see if he was genuine or not he couldn't he already, you know, he missed it by a few <laughs> minutes, but it's still a miss regardless. You know, whatever you're doing that's good, you know, that's the lesson I want us to get from this. Whatever you're doing that's good, continue doing it. There's people that would come and help you. There's opportunities that would, along the line, present themselves. But you have to continue doing that good thing that you're doing for that opportunity to materialize. Because when people start tracking what you're doing, keeping an eye on what you're doing, being impressed and watching you, admiring you from a distance, all these things, they don't come out and tell you up front. But they might come out and congratulate you here and there, but they won't tell you that they're admiring you or they're watching you or that they even want to help you. They will keep that thing to themselves and keep watching you. So whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it. Keep keeping your hands straight. Keep doing it the right way. With time, the opportunity, or the destiny helper, whichever one comes first, is going to pop up and you're going to get that grace. You're going to get that blessing and you're going to be able to step up to the next thing in life. Many of us were not born with silver spoons. I was just fortunate too. But it doesn't mean that I, you know, my dad was like the president of anywhere. No, whatever spoon that you came out with, it's now on you to improve the quality of that spoon. So... In essence, don't give up on whatever you're doing, whatever good thing that you're doing, whatever career, whatever uh, uh, business, you know, just art, craft, keep up with it. Keep doing it and that opportunity will present itself. And of course, you know, uh, we just got to keep that fit up. So that's it for this one, guys. You know, if you guys love this content, uh, please like. If you love this kind of things, please subscribe, follow. I always believe that life is like a movie. You know, and that's why we use movies to discuss life. My name is CJ from McNally Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.